And so you got to let me know, should I curb blog about this show? Yes, the answer is 100% very yes. Holy shit. Um, okay, so first of all, to anybody who has not seen Stranger Things yet, I will uh, not be, uh, I won't be talking about major spoilers, um, but I will say that you're probably better off in, in watching this right now if you have access to Netflix because you're missing something if you haven't seen it already because holy shit. Um, I finished watching through it about a week ago. I'm recording this like way ahead of time, but this will be going up on uh, Saturday, the 27th time travel. We, uh, I, I, so I finished this a week ago today. Um, and uh, my God, wow. Um, it's funny because it started off with, um, when, when I finished it, I, I tweeted about how it was life-changing. And uh, Martin, uh, little Karibo, was asking like, what, what, was it, what, what was it about it that was so life-changing? Um, and, and maybe that wasn't even the best description. I, I think it was more so just the fact that like, it was so well executed that it just like, it, it hit every, it was so up my alley and so well done and so well executed that it just really like struck a nerve with me. Like, I don't know, it was not in a bad way. That sounds like it has a negative connotation to it. Um, I described it a lot as like it, it and we were talking about this with uh, the one I did with Doug a while ago about how like it, it captured that sense of like childhood wonder, like true true wonder uh except in this case um you know because i was actually kind of expecting it to be mostly focused on uh the kids and everything but uh basically the way that the, so the the kind of setup with the show where it's kind of the not three different stories uh i guess that they are kind of like an a b and c plot but everything is all pretty interconnected more or less um you can maybe even argue that there's like a d plot in a way um but that has to do with one of the kid characters and you know that might even come back into play if the show gets picked up for a second season but nonetheless um yeah it, it just it just caught that that like that true kind of wonder and intrigue about the world from the kids perspective uh and it reminded me a lot of the friendships that I made back then like the types of friendships that I made with the you know some of the of which are with people that are still you know part of my life to this day um you know and yeah, it, it just, I think it was just because it was so up my alley, like everything about like the, the style, the genre of this, um, you know, and it's funny because I'm not even, uh, I, I guess, what would you even consider? Because it's not quite like a horror series and I don't even know if you could consider it to be like, like a thriller or something. It, it like, you know, it's supernatural, um, you know, and even, even that, like, I, I don't, you know, watch a lot of those kinds of shows. I don't watch Supernatural, speaking of which, I don't even know if it's, you know, that much like this necessarily. I didn't watch really much of X-Files or anything like that growing up, but yeah, just, um, just something about this one, just, you know what, actually, what, what I think it was more than anything it, is that it was the kid characters. Um, you know, I didn't know about the, the you know, the, the, the other three sects uh, in that, or well, the three sects in total, and that there was the kids, the teenage characters, and then the adult characters. Um, I knew that um, Winona Ryder was the, um, you know, the, the kind of major star attached, and she was fantastic. She gave a Great, absolutely insane performance, uh, as it should have been. Um, and uh, David Harbour as, uh, as, as uh, Officer, or Chief, Chief Hopper, my bad, not an officer. Um, and, uh, and all five, to, I'll say five, of the kid actors, uh, all exceptionally talented. Like, I completely bought, because I've seen some other, like, kid movies where, like, they'll get kid actors and, you know, they're... If, you know, for usually pretty understandable reasons, not fully into it or not, you know, super all that great or anything, but like all five of these main kids were like outstanding performers. Like I, every, everything that was, I fully believed that this was like a really tight group of pals. Uh, and not just because of the fact that like it, like it was relatable to me and the friendships that I, I, I didn't play D and D growing up, sadly. Um, but just, just like their, their kind of dynamic, like it, it just, it was completely believable uh, you know, even, uh, even like the, the couple, this isn't a spoiler because it's in like the first episode, the, the bully kids, like I bought them too. Like they were like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, kids are that mean. It makes sense. Um, yeah, I, they, they definitely made the show for me. Not to say that the other characters weren't great and the teenagers, which were probably the easiest characters that could have gone horribly wrong, especially with, you know, when you have teenage romance involved, which, you know, that's also, I'm mostly talking about stuff that shows up in the first episode, so I'm not really divulging much, but it's really easy to screw that shit up, and they handled it also exceptionally well in that regard, and the teenage characters actually turned out to be uh, actually a lot more relatable, I think, than you would expect. Nobody was obnoxious in the story, uh, you know, in including the teenagers, which 
I, I think can can be the most obnoxious if they're like if they're written or executed wrong. But and also uh, all um, well, I think the guy who played uh, Jonathan uh, is relatively experienced. But I think that actually I think that um, the other three uh, teenage characters I think that I believe the two girls are like like relatively new or, or maybe even completely new. I'm not sure. I haven't fully looked into what all of them have done. Uh, but they were all great. Uh, and then uh, the um, uh, the love interest, the the love interest guy, uh, St Steve. Uh, Steve also uh, surprisingly didn't turn out like, like that. That was the character I was expecting. Like, oh god, I'm gonna hate this guy by the end of the show. I was like, no, no, I totally get where he's coming from the whole time and makes sense. And yeah, it's, it was it was funny. Like, the, I think these are actually some of, some of the most relatable, realistically portrayed, uh, not just by the acting, but also just by the 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 reactions that they were written to have based on all the stuff that was unfolding throughout the story uh definitely some of the most well executed teenage characters i've seen in anything uh in a very long time if anything on that same kind of note actually um what i really liked about the sort of parallel like you know all three of the different um you know viewpoints of the world between the kid characters the teenagers and the adults um all of their perceptions were treated as incredibly real uh, like none of them felt like they were forced none of them felt like they were, you know, too, like, I don't know, um, like they were too like forced or, or whatever. And especially also for it. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't grow up in the eighties, so I don't even, I, I guess like maybe older, uh, listeners, if there are any out there that have seen this, that maybe, I don't know if there were some like inaccuracies in how people were acting back then or whatever. I didn't really care. I loved the 80s style too as well, I, especially now that since I've been listening a lot more to the radio, just by way of having driven more of living here. Um, I, I've, I'm glad to say that I've become so much more familiar with all the music like from, or, or not from, but, but used, I should say, from the 80s used in this show uh, throughout the whole thing, um, you know, as evidenced by the beginning. And that was cool because that, that made that a lot more like, hey, this is really cool that like I'm getting all these kind of like, you know, 80s hits and everything and they, and they blend in very well to everything. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, um, like the, the, the very kind of, I guess, um, the, 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 okay, so I talked about like the childlike wonder of, from, from the kid's perspective, which was my favorite part uh, above all else. Uh, and then the kind of like, you know, figuring yourself out and who you are and, you know, what's acceptable and where you're going kind of stuff about the teenage characters. And then finally the, um, you know, life is really fucking hard and life is really stressful kind of, you know, not to get too, you know, real about that either, but no, 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 actually, no, not even that, that is what it was. It was that it was treated real. The adults care, the adults characters perspective and how fucked up everything was. It was perfect. It was so, so, so well done. Like I, I'm still, I'm getting over it still. Like, because like, I'm recording this like the day after I, I, I finished watching the whole thing. I just like binged through, I binged through the first half one night and then the, the next half, the second night. Uh, and, and just, I was completely sucked in the whole time. And granted, I think that's certainly the point of a lot of these Netflix shows is that they want you to just be like so invested that you're like, you know, marathoning through the whole thing. But like, I, I enjoyed Voltron. I didn't binge through Voltron like I did with Stranger Things. Um, the amount of, of intrigue and the mystery. Like, you know, the, the thing is also... <laughs> what I'm happy about is there, there wasn't um, there wasn't a whole lot of to, to me anyway a whole lot of predictable stuff. Um, you know there was there was certainly some of uh, some of some like tropey kind of things kind of mixed in there once in a while. But again, the, the execution of them was so like spot on that I, I never really minded it. Um, you know, even uh, the romance, which wasn't you know the, the romance stuff was not uh, really at the forefront like it, it's really just kind of like woven in and it, it's pretty natural i would say um you know by and large <laughs> and um yeah it, it never uh it just never felt like it was too like up in its own ass or like trying too hard or anything and uh, but but yeah like like because of that like it didn't come off as n nothing in the story came off as like too predictable even some of the things that like you know i i was able like eh, yeah i kind of saw that coming or whatever it was it was never like like, oh, God, this is, that's, that's such a letdown or whatever. It was, I was into it. I was still into, and I was happy that, like, oh, yeah, that happened, like, that I was kind of maybe thinking would happen or whatever. Um, and uh, it's funny, too, for, you know, the amount of, like, I guess, like, showdowns. Like, you think about, like, in, okay, and, like, a, bear with me. This is a weird comparison. Like, when you watch, like, like an anime with a lot, like, like an action-oriented anime where there's a lot of, uh, of, like, battles throughout the story. The show didn't quite have, like, battles necessarily, but... But it had a, a lot of 
like showdowns, like a lot of, uh, of, of like major kind of conflicts that a lot of which uh, were kind of unexpected. Because like when you go into this, you, you know, you kind of expect when, it, when it's supernatural, like most of what those kind of things are going to be. Uh, again, not to get too into spoiler territory here. But uh, with, with this one, there were a lot of, um, of interesting and, and very cool uh, kind of showdowns in a lot of different ways. It was, it was very, very it, it had a lot of really, really cool variation to it. Uh, and again, not even just because of the three different characters' perspectives, but even even their uh, stuff was very, very like everything that very varied. I, I, did, I did a good job on that. Uh, even um, like the, the different things that all three of those sects of characters within the story go through throughout the eight episodes, like it's something different every time. It's not like a lot of the same shit or whatever. Especially when you think it might be with like with the supernatural elements uh, integrated into it. You would think that a lot of it probably is like, oh, it's going to be this again, or oh, it's going to be another scene of this or whatever, and it's going to go through the same like stereotypical motions. And and to be fair, for me, because I haven't actually watched a whole lot of this type of stuff before, um, I uh, maybe just because like that, I don't know. I actually kind of wonder maybe to uh, you know before I actually like ask the leave your thoughts thing. I will say just while I'm thinking of it, to anybody out there who watches more like like this genre of like supernatural kind of stuff. Uh, than I do. Did this whole like, like did this stack up against how how did this show stack up against the other stuff you'd seen like other movies and TV shows, even video games maybe you know stuff like Silent Hill or whatever, um, if that counts I guess. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious because I, I do wonder if like people who are kind of more avidly into the genre like kind of what they think about the, those aspects of the story in terms of uh, how that goes. But uh, anyway, um, I think the biggest thing that I really took away from this and and maybe. You know what? Actually, yeah. I, I think that this is the biggest thing that I got into wanting to watch the show, like when I was first kind of hearing about it. Because I, I mentioned this again in the, the, the one I did with Doug, but uh, I, didn't grow with, I didn't grow up with the Goonies. Uh, and a lot of people were saying that this is kind of like the new Goonies of, of our era. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily the most accurate. Again, because I haven't seen it, so I don't know how that, that matches. I've heard some people say that it's not quite. It's just people are saying that just because of the, the group of kids or whatever. Um, but nonetheless, um, I, I've, I'm curious to also watch The Goonies because what I'm drawn to about that and what I was drawn to about the show and what I enjoyed the most and took away from about the show, uh, watching through Stranger Things, most of all the, the bonds between the, the group of kid characters, but uh, even more so the, you know, like, like further than that, I should say, the bond between, um, you know, the, the kind of like different sort of bonds between the teenage characters, the different sort of bonds between... Um, you know, the, the characters who are, who are family to each other, which cross between, uh, you know, those three different sects as well uh, in different ways. In fact, actually, uh, I would say a, a certain three characters, one from each uh, of the, who, are, who are family, and each of those three characters are from the, you know, the kid, teenage, and adult faction, and they all have incredibly important roles in the story um, to themselves. And, and, you know, seeing their bond with each other, including in some cases when those characters aren't even together at the same time as well. Uh, that was really incredible to see how that was going. Um, the teenager ones were very different, I think, compared to everything else. And, you know, they needed to be because they were kind of that in-between state. Um, and, and just seeing, like, how well, how realistic, how interesting, and how worth it by the end of the story all of those different relationships and bonds between those characters were... Uh, was so incredibly satisfying that I, you know, like, like many people, I finished it and I was like, more please, please, I need more of this in my life, absolutely. Um, in fact, I'm very, very excited to see in particular about, you know, if they continue forward with this and, um, you know, they're having, you know, in particular the kid and the teenage characters growing up uh, throughout the course of them doing, you know, further seasons, however many they, they plan on doing, if, you know, because I, I would love to see more and more and more of this as time goes on. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, just based on the fact that, you know, not only is this, it a, is it a success, but it's, you know, it's, it's now become a, a franchise. Um, I would assume that they probably want it to go on for a fair amount of time. I don't, well, you know, however long that ends up being. I know that they're interested in doing a season two. There hasn't been a flat out confirmation just yet. Um, but I would, I would be very curious to, you know, because it, it's cool to see. I, did, I wasn't ever into stuff like Seventh Heaven or anything, and I don't know if this is the best example, but like a show where you watch the actors and the characters on it like literally grow as the show continues. Because that's like one of the coolest things about uh, like with a lot of the anime I watched growing up, like DBZ watching 
the characters literally grow old as it went on. And, and like, actually, a lot of Shonen series in particular, uh, in terms of the anime that I, that I watch, uh, that's a really cool factor about, you know, following them for that long of a time. Uh, you know, if hopefully they go the route of actually having them, you know, age up over, you know, if, if they do time skips or whatever. Um, they were talking about, the creators were talking about how, and this, this isn't spoilerific, thankfully, um, they, if they were to do season two, which they hopefully will, um, a lot of it would actually focus on the ramifications of what, have, what has already happened in season one, uh, which I'm, I'm sure is, if I had to determine, is probably half like the characters themselves dealing with like the emotional and physical fallout of that, um, as well as, you know, kind of what ties into, you know, because there's a conclusion, there's a, there's a very good conclusion. So if this was the end, it would still be totally satisfying. I just don't want more. But if, if, if like something happened and they didn't continue further, I would understand. Um, but either way, um, there's, there's definitely stuff that's left kind of open. Or not, actually, not even stuff that's left open, but more of just like there's, there's more to be explored regarding, you know, a lot of the stuff that was brought up, you know, even that had a beginning, a middle, and an end to it with the characters' arcs and everything. So this is one of those things that I, I really would, would love to, con you know, to continue uh, and to see prospering. Uh, I think it's... Um, I think it's really cool. I think it's got a lot. And not only that, not only that, um, you know, it, it was so well executed, but I think also the, the reason that I, that I enjoyed the bonds so much between the characters is because I think that that, uh, in terms of like the messages behind it and like, you know, people sticking together and, you know, through thick and thin and, you know, and trying their best and, to, you know, to, to not give up. Uh, it has a lot of really, really positive messages that I, you know, thoroughly, thoroughly fucking enjoyed. Uh, and I'm really glad that uh, that I that I got to experience it. So uh, so yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I am a full on fan of this now. Um, hopefully, when this comes out, the preview image will be a piece of fan art that I've drawn because I've been uh, I haven't drawn I don't draw fan art very often, but I just kind of got inspired to want to do some for this. And so hopefully, by the time this comes out, I, I'll have done that and probably put it up somewhere. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. A um, little shorter. Again, I'm trying to get back a little bit more to doing shorter ones. Because uh, I've been this this month has been filled with so many long ones, so ho hopefully that's okay and not too obnoxious to y'all. But anyway, um, so in the comments below, uh, if you have seen Stranger Things, uh, it, well, first of all, if you haven't, please do that. Oh my God, uh, if you have, hopefully by this point, come back. Hi, welcome back. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, let me know favorite characters, favorite scenes, favorite episodes, anything. You know, tag your spoilers. You know, just like put a big like spoiler in the top or whatever, so people don't actually accidentally. Scroll down and see stuff. Um, be careful with your spoilers, everybody. I've been spoiled of other things this week, and don't appreciate that too much. Uh, actually, last week, technically. Whatever. Anyway, time travel, whatever. Maybe there will be time travel in Stranger Things Season 2. Oh, God, I hope not. But maybe. We'll see. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and then if you have future Curb Law topic suggestions, I, I have one more plan for this month uh, with a guest. Uh, so, will probably be a long one. Sorry. But I hope you enjoy it. It's one that actually I've been uh, trying to do for a while. I've got a cool guest for it. Uh, another first-time guest. September will be more of the normal stuff, and then I've got some cool stuff planned after that. Uh, but yeah, so if you have suggestions for other career blood topics, uh, you know, related to things or otherwise, uh, leave a comment about that too, or hit me up on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, the usual shite. Thanks for listening, and I will catch you all on the Upside Down.